Hey what's good guys, it's Zach with Android Police here at CES and in this video we're taking a look at a molecular scanning phone. This is the Shanghong H2 and yes, it can scan molecules in your food with this sensor from Sio. They also have a standalone scanner that you can use with any phone alongside the companion application. So we swung by the Shanghong booth to hear from their reps what exactly you can do with these devices. So this is uh, the world's first uh, material sensing phone, it's a Shanghong H2 and it's got an embedded material sensor in it. And what you can do, you can scan a bunch of products, a bunch of materials with it, and it gives you uh, different insights about them. So in this case, I'm going to uh, try to select the sweetest apple. So I'm going to click on this app right here, select the apples, and now I'm going to scan an apple. Simply make contact, scan, sends out the light, gets back the reflection. And it will give me the results in bricks value. Bricks is the amount of sweetness sweetness level of this apple. So this one is 12.5 bricks, which is a pretty good apple. Okay, so now I'm going to scan the second apple and let's see what type of bricks uh, results I get for that. How sweet is this apple? So this one is 17. That's an awesome apple. That's a really sweet one. So you've seen the previous one has a much lower brick score. So this is uh, selecting the sweetest apples. Then we get uh, also distinguishing between different types of pills. This one is a fake one and a real one. So we can distinguish between two, two uh, types of pills. Here I'm going to hit on the uh, verification app, click pills, and now scan. I don't know which one is real, which one is fake. So that's the real one. That's the real one. Let's see the other one. And this one is fake. So yeah, so you can do uh, select the sweetest fruit, distinguish between different medication, fake or real. You can get nutritional information about the food you scan, calories, carbs, proteins, fat, and a bunch of other things like personal wellness, scan your biceps and get your body fat percent. So there's many use cases for this, and this is the first, world's first phone with a uh, material sensor embedded. Is this going to be available worldwide or? Starting in China in 2017, in a few months, and then rolling, rolling out worldwide. All right, what about the rest of the specifications of the phone itself? Well, it's got a uh, six inch uh, full HD. It's got a 16 megapixel uh, camera. Uh, it's got a 3000 milliamp uh, battery. So it's a pretty competitive phone. The eight sensor is compatible with any um, sensor, either embedded or handheld on Apple, on Android, and of course on Shanghong. And uh, it's a nutrition app from the next generation for people who need to monitor food intake, carb management, uh, cholesterol management and so on and you know when you need to track daily it's tedious and making it easier provides uh, more data more access to the data and then more feedback so the app is providing you with a budget uh, what you ate the calorie you burned you can connect your Fitbit or any device and the calories left for today for the next meal I have this budget and I'm going to log a meal either with Sayo or with my favorite food catalog that I create my own library I can also log from a catalog where I have 600,000 foods, but this is done for non-homogeneous food that I cannot scan, like a pizza or lasagna. Right, right. And I also get suggestions what, I, what, food, what categories of food I could eat and stick to my budget. I choose the right categories of food. We have 240 algorithms. I choose one for pastries, cakes, breads, any types of those in the world. And I will get the exact values of this pancake which has 8% of protein, 47 of carbs, and 9% of fats. I take a picture to create my own gallery. If I eat this pancake again, I can find it right away in my own gallery here. See? And uh, for the weight, I need to know the weight. Either I connect my Bluetooth scale, and when I serve, I get the exact weight, or I just know the, 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 the weight and I input the weight either in ounces or in grams here to get the exact values and I know when I get in the red zone that I'm exceeding my goal for this time of the day which helps me balance my meals count my carbs like if I I'm under insulin management I know how much insulin I need to take given the amount of carbs and I can balance my nutrients fat carb protein and of course calories so it's really a nutrition coaching app that provides you with coaching advice nutrition education so that you monitor your food intake and better manage your diabetes or weight loss program 
uh, obesity, uh, any, anything related to nutrition. We want to make it an e educational tool, uh, not only a technological tool. And this technology is really awesome because it helps you get the data in an easier manner. And when you can log data, you can have the information to take decisions. So that's uh, our motto, easier to log your food and uh, get more advice and more guidance. It's a little uh, creature that uh, you grow inside your phone and you have to feed it and depending on what you're feeding it, if it's uh, healthy or less healthy, it gets a different characteristic and it grows into a different monster. If you are uh, feeding it uh, with uh, chocolate, if you scan the uh, chocolate, now the chocolate went from the real world into the virtual world and you can uh, feed the pet. Uh, please notice that um, you can see that uh, chocolate gives you a lot of happiness but uh, not so much health and uh, help somewhat with hunger. So different foods have different characteristics and it uh, uh, both grows a different uh, character and uh, develops it differently. So there you have it. You have to admit, this is pretty interesting, right? Would you guys get something like this? Could you find it useful in your everyday life? Let us know your thoughts by dropping a comment down below. But anyway, that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the Android Police channel if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys later, and thanks for watching.